Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we're going to learn about creating a corridor with a transition lane in Civil 3D. So let's get started. In this exercise, you'll create a corridor using the assembly created in the last exercise. You'll target the width and elevation of the right lane edge to a right alignment and profile and the left lane edge to a polyline and a feature line. This exercise continues from creating an assembly with a transition lane. So let's specify the basic corridor information. Note this exercise uses the corridor-2A drawing from the previous exercise. Or you can also open the corridor-2B drawing in your tutorials folder. So let's start by going to your home tab and then to your create design panel. Next, click on the corridor drop down and select corridor. In the create corridor dialog box, specify the following parameters. We're going to give it a brand new name and we're going to call it corridor dash transition lanes. Then for the baseline type, we're going to leave it at alignment and profile. And then for the alignment, we're going to leave it at center line. For the profile, we'll switch that to layout. And for assembly, we're going to specify transition. The transition assembly includes the basic lane transition subassembly which uses the transition parameter to specify that both the offset and elevation can change on the right side of the corridor. The offset can change on the left side of the corridor, but the grade is held at negative 2%. Now for the target surface, we're going to specify that as the existing grade. And make sure the set baseline and region parameters is checked. After that, go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to specify the fixed lane horizontal target. In the baseline and region parameters dialog box, we're going to set all targets. Now we're in the target mapping dialog box. Specify the following parameters. In the transition alignment row for the right side, we're going to specify an object name. The object type that we're going to target is alignments and we want to select the right alignment. Go ahead and click add and then click OK. In the transitional alignment row for the left side we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click the object name but we're going to specify a different object type to target. We're going to select feature lines, survey figures, and polylines. Next, go ahead and select from drawing. And we're going to select this blue feature line and this magenta feature line that's on the left side of the alignment. Go ahead and press enter. Notice that the entities are added to our table. Let's go ahead and click OK. Notice that because the subassembly names contain the assembly side, it's easy to determine which assembly must target which offset object. This naming convention is even more useful in road designs that contain many alignments and subassemblies. For information on updating the subassembly naming template, see Modifying the Subassembly Name Template exercise. Now let's specify the fixed lane elevation targets. Now within the transition profile row for the right side, let's select object name. We're going to leave the target on profiles. For the alignment, we're going to switch that to the right side. And for the profiles, we're going to specify the layout profile. Go ahead and click add and then click OK. The right side pavement edge elevation is set to the layout 1 profile. 
The left side edge of pavement elevation does not need to be set since its elevation is determined by the grading setting. Now we're going to press OK twice. We do want to rebuild our corridor. The corridor model is now built and looks like this. So that's how you go about creating a corridor with a transition lane in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.